Hello YouTubers, subscribers, and friends. Today I'm working on my 72 Camaro. Had to take the seats out. Because uh, I'm going to put the seat belts in and put the front carpet in. So, uh, had to take the seats out. And, uh, like I said, put the front carpets in. And uh, put the seat belts in. I got the seat belts. I had them in my shed. And, uh, I'm going to put them back in. My wife was... Tell me I shouldn't be driving without seat belts. Seat belts are in the back. As you can see. I also uh, installed the glove box today too. And a new glove box. And I'm going to put the uh, front carpet in since I already have the seats out. But I had to find a hole. Here I got the hole. I got this side done already. One over here and one over here to peel this back. You have to cut this insulation out here. As you can see right there, got one there. And you can see the hole over there. Put this carpet back in place. And uh, now I'm working on the other side. It was a nice cloudy day. Man, it has gotten hot since. And I'm sweating like a pig in a slaughterhouse. Decided I'm gonna put the carpet in because this this part of the insulation is rubbing off from getting in and out of the car. This stuff is extremely hard to cut. Here you can see I got one of the screws in already here. I just uh, I gotta cut the hole for the carpet. Put, take that screw out and get this carpet into place. Find where that hole is. down and then feel where that hole is and then I got to cut through the carpet and then I got to do that side and once I get this side done then I can put the seat belts in and install the front carpet so uh, I got to realign the steering wheel too because when I turn the key off the steering wheel turns that way so I have to realign that this is what I'm doing today though I found my door panels inside my shed uh, just the half door panels here and one of the top ones it's all broken the other one is missing I don't know where it is but uh, there you have it put my trim on the back of my window this is the piece I'm missing here and I got to get some more clips I'm missing the clip here and the clip here so this will be held down uh, I don't know how much they are I can get them at, on eBay or something I'm missing one here too so I gotta pull that down well, there you have it working on my Camaro today and uh, I'll make a video after everything's done all right I got the uh, seat belts in over here passenger side and driver side I just got through vacuuming it out now I just have to uh, put the uh, front carpet in lay that out and see how hard that's going to be. I might have to take off that shifter right there. I'm not sure. We'll see. I'll film some more when I'm done. Oh, I have one of these seatbelt uh, seat belt things. The freaking bolt was freaking rusted to it and I had to get the grinder and grind it off. It got heated up to where it could start turning. But, uh, almost done. Right. Okay. I got the carpet in. The seat belt's in center console shifter thing in it's very 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 humid here in Arizona right now because it looks like it's going to dump rain here soon so I gotta get these seats in and uh, I'll be all done alright the rainstorm passed through although it was really really bad windstorm blow crap all in my car I got it done well at least I thought I got it done I vacuumed this thing out about 10 times. I got the seats back in. I got the seat belts in. Although, I'm going to change these seat belts because I found another pair that I have inside my Camaro stuff. I think these ones will be a little bit longer because those ones are short. So, I'm going to change this one out and test it first. But I just want to show what it looks like with the new carpet in. So 
So I've got new carpet front and back. I'll go around the other side. I got the seat belts in. Uh, although I tagged my back on this edge right here. I don't know if it's sliced open or what, but it hurts. Gotta be careful. So now it's looking more and more like a car now. Uh, now I went, I went inside because the wind was blowing it was raining. Now I come out and there's nothing going on. Let me go around to the other side. Leave this open here. So I got the, uh, I put the trim on, but I, like I said, I got to buy new clips for the trim to stay on, and I got to find out where to get these. I got the fuel gauge working now. Put a new fuel sending unit in. And there's the back seat. All vacuumed out. I guess I've vacuumed about five times today because of a windstorm. And there's the finished product of the new carpet installed. Oh yeah, and I put the uh, bug box in too. And uh, this isn't bolt down because I don't know where the bolts are. So there you have it. My project's done for today. I'm going to change out these because uh, you can't move the seat back with this, but I'm going to change that to the other ones that I found. Those are too short anyways. I guess they were real skinny back in the 70s. That's my 72 Chevy Camaro project. Runs and drives, it's all legal. All I gotta do now is give me a spare tire. And uh, I'm gone. I'm kicking. All right, I'm back. Uh, I decided to change over to the other seat belts. And uh, these ones uh, fit a lot better. They allow you to slide the seat back now without any problems. I got the driver's side done too. Now it's completely legal. You go over here and then connect to this one easily. There we go. Now I'm done. Got the right seat belts, the carpet in front and back. Looks really nice. Seats are done. I got the door panels, the half part down here in my shed. But I need to get some door clips to clip those on because, man, I hit this thing. This thing hurts. I got the fuel gauge working right. It's registered. It's legal. And now I'm gone. Get going.